In particular, what interests me is when professional standards of performance uh, are compromised by the need to make money. Now, to get through life, we need a lot of different kinds of knowledge. Everyday knowledge, real scientific, technical knowledge, emotional knowledge. And one of these kinds of knowledge is knowledge about what makes a profit, what makes us most money. And at the present time, in a society very much driven by market and by profit maximization, that kind of financial knowledge can trump, can beat all other kinds of knowledge. The pollution of the Gulf of Mexico by British Petroleum a few years ago, a huge disaster, killed people, destroyed people's livelihoods. There, the geologists and the engineers working for British Petroleum were saying, look, this well is unsafe. But the financial knowledge of the financial guys in the corporation said, no, look, this is going to be too expensive to do anything about. Keep quiet. And so they, the, the, the knowledge coming up from geological and engineering science was ignored because the financial goals were seen as more important. That would be another very good example. We can never stop doing something about it because as soon as we set up institutions to try to manage these things, the institutions themselves become the targets of the next corruption. And so we can never say, ah, oh, if only we pass the law, set up a regulatory agency, if we do that, then we can solve that problem. Uh, wipe our hands and go away. No. We have to be vigilant the whole time. We have to be constantly questioning. We have to be in particular critical of what business lobbies are doing uh, in distorting public policy for their own ends. So that citizens need to be eternally vigilant. And thanks to social media and the internet, there are now often very effective campaigns that draw our attention to these things. So if we care about what's being done to us and whether the knowledge we need for our lives is being distorted, we need to be attentive, to watch out, to do what we can to contribute.